So uh, what I learned personally is uh, I relearned the joy of having enough time to prepare teaching material. I've been teaching, of course, in the classroom f for 40 years. And, uh, you know, the pressure of life, you never have enough time to prepare things properly. And, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's always a bit of a compromise. When you're going out there with a MOOC, you know, it's like it's massive. So there's going to be a lot of people. If you can save everyone a few minutes by spending another day or two yourself on a better activity, then you do it. You know? And it's open. It's part of uh, my record. It's uh, part of the University of Waikato's record. And it's online, you know, the videos are there, they're still there, they're going to be there forever in internet time, anyway, whenever that ends. Uh, so uh, you really kind of have to really focus on making your teaching as good as you can possibly make it, which is an unusual luxury in the world of higher education today. So I really, really love that aspect of it. Also, you're talking to people who can walk out of the room at any time, you know, they can just stop, they can just switch you off. So you really have to work very hard to make sure that you retain people's attention and uh, you know don't turn them off. It really there's a lot of um, uh, it's really interesting to to have it's an interesting challenge to have to do that. Every time you make, make a video, you think, ah, oh, this might be the one that turns them all off, you know. Or every time you do an activity, you think, <laughs> oh, this might be the one where they all stop, you know. So it really makes you think about these things. Well, here it's all kind of on video, you know, so it's a very different uh, prospect doing something that's so public. And that's a very, very good thing. It's a great pressure for an education educator to have, you know. This is the way it should be, I think.